Thank you so much for being here. This is an exciting day. Uh, my name is Gina Luna, and I've served as the chair of the Greater Houston Partnerships um, Innovation Roundtable since its founding in 2016. And I'm also a member of the Mayor's uh, Technology and Innovation Task Force. And I'm joined here by this illustrious group of leaders from across the community who care deeply about accelerating the growth of our innovation ecosystem. And this group includes members of Mayor Turner's Innovation and Technology Task Force, the Partners Innovation Roundtable, Houston um, Technology Center's Executive Committee, and, and maybe most importantly, a host of leaders from our startup community in Houston. And we're all here today because we are vested in Houston's growing innovation ecosystem and the impact that that has on our economy. I want to thank Mayor Turner for being here and for hosting us today. His passion and his leadership on this topic and innovation in general has ju just certainly been inspiring. And knowing that we have the support of the mayor and the entire city, city is vitally important. Most emerging tech cities would love to have the alignment we have between the business community, the tech community, startups, and our elected officials. This is rare among cities. And Mayor Turner, we thank you again for continuing to drive this forward. As Houston works to attract jobs and talent to the region, it's essential to elevate our innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem. Startups are the largest driver of job creation in cities today, as well as a critical component of our efforts to attract and retain corporate investment, venture capital, and talent. Houston is fortunate to have an outstanding innovation community with so many important partners. In addition to the recent efforts of the mayor's um, task force and the mayor himself, the Greater Houston Partnership, the Houston Technology Center has played a historic role in this community. They've been bolstered by a host of recently launched startup development organizations, including Station Houston and TMCX, University of Houston's Red Labs and Rice Owl Spark, and Johnson & Johnson J Labs and the Canon. Um, all of these groups have done outstanding work to help position Houston for exponential growth in the next few years. In fact, it was the growing density of these groups that bolstered Houston's case for the Amazon H2Q project. We pitched Houston's innovation corridor that follows the light rail from the Texas Medical Center to downtown, and that's the home of most of these groups. Houston does have a great story to tell, and today's announcement will only help drive that forward. I do want to thank the Greater Houston Partnership, and specifically Bob Harvey, for all of his help and commitment in helping us elevate the importance of the innovation ecosystem with the corporate community, and specifically for his help and work in the conversations that really spurred us to where we are today. Over the past year, this entire group and many others have come together with a single focus, improving Houston's innovation economy with the audacious goal of becoming a top 10 startup community within the next five years. The reason we're standing here today is to share some exciting news with you. The Greater Houston Partnerships Innovation Strategy Office, the Mayor's Technology and Innovation Task Force, and the Houston Technology Center will consolidate our efforts to form a new organization, Houston Exponential. Houston Exponential's mission is to accelerate the development of Houston's innovation economy and is focused on supporting high growth, high impact startups. Houston Exponential will accelerate the development of Houston's innovation economy in three ways, connecting, attracting, and promoting. Houston Exponential will connect all the key players by convening community leaders and all the players in the innovation ecosystem to source define and execute initiatives. It will attract the resources necessary to grow the ecosystem by recruiting talent and venture capital to Houston. And lastly, and importantly, it will promote Houston as a hub for innovation by showcasing strengths, momentum, and success of Houston's economy to the world. As part of our planning process, Accenture engaged in an in-depth study of Houston's innovation economy and startup ecosystem 
along with our peer cities across the country. We took those recommendations, along with the work of the Roundtable and the task force, to establish the structure and the strategy of Houston Exponential. And then Accenture developed a playbook for Houston Exponential following the best practices that we learned from all around the country, but customizing it for the unique characteristics of Houston. Brian Richards, who's here today, Brian, raise your hand, <laughs> led this endeavor with a great team from Accenture, and we're so thankful to, for them for, and for all their help. And we'll initially focus on the 10 initiatives outlined in that Accenture report. Implementation of these 10 initiatives will be driven through a number of committees and working groups that bring everyone to the table. Startups, investors, universities, corporations, local government, incubators, accelerators, and other experts, all that can bolster the innovation economy. We've organized the committees into two groupings, those focused on policy, such as supporting the development of an innovation district, and the Founder Visa Program, and those focused on advocacy, such as our acceleration strategy or promoting Houston's startup image. Another crucial element of this plan is building critical mass in thematic, thematic technology areas of focus, the first being industrial internet of things, advanced robotics, and cybersecurity. Each of these focus areas offer great potential for transformative change and are directly connected to Houston's key industry verticals. These committees and organizations at large and the organization at large will reflect, reflect the dynamics and diversity of Houston, and there will be a place for everyone who's willing to plug in and contribute. And I'd like to stop and acknowledge Lori Vetters for her Lori Vetters, <laughs> for her leadership with the Houston Technology Center. Lori's done a great job since she came on board earlier this year to guide HTC through this transitional period. And with the formation of her role, Lori will be leaving her role as president and CEO, but fortunately she'll continue to play an advisory role as we navigate this new endeavor and ensuring a smooth transition for HTC investors, clients, mentors, and advisors. Dick Williams, where's Dick? There's Dick. Former president of Shell Wind Energy and former chairman of the HTC board will serve as the interim president and CEO of Houston Exponential while the organi organization launches a national search for our permanent president and CEO. And I'm very excited and proud to serve as the chairman, serve as the chair of the organization's governing board. And I think the positive momentum is building and I look forward to continuing to work with this great group and many others as we drive innovation forward in the Houston region. In addition to the formation of Houston Exponential, the organization has already launched HX Venture Fund, Houston's first venture capital fund of funds. Houston is an innovative city and the launch of the fund of funds will take it to the next level in terms of competing with other cities globally for investments, startups, and talent. The Fund of Funds, which is a fund investing in venture capital funds, aims to achieve an attractive return for investors, attract leading venture capital firms to bring their expertise and their risk capital to the region, and create pathways for innovation and information to flow among corporations, startups, and innovators. And we're wa not wasting any time. A fund manager and the investment committee are already in place to properly screen venture firms for placement of those funds. Guillermo Borda is here with us today. Guillermo is a seasoned funds manager, and he will serve as our fund manager for HX Venture Fund. He's a leading expert on this type of fund and has held a variety of venture capital and private equity roles including managing capital via a large fund of funds for the four largest public pension funds in the U.S. In addition, I'm so excited to thank our friends at Insperity, who have agreed to be the anchor sponsor for the Fund of Funds. They are represented here today by Jay Minks. This is a game where I have to find the person. <laughs> um, he's Insperity's Executive Vice President for Sales and Marketing. 
Insperity is providing the necessary runway capital to launch and support the daily operations of the fund through the formation period. Insperity has long been committed to help businesses run better and grow faster, and their support of Houston Exponential's Venture Fund continues that commitment. Thank you, Jay, and thank you to Insperity for, the, for their work with Houston Exponential. And now, it's my pleasure to welcome Mayor Sylvester Turner forward to say a few words. Mayor Turner, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Let me thank Gina. <laughs> thank you so, so very much. And certainly, I want to acknowledge again the council members who are here uh, as this particular effort is being launched. Council Member Jack Christie, good to see him. Uh, council Member uh, Carlos Cisneros and Council Member Amanda Edwards. Um, Houston is fertile, is fertile ground for tech center growth. Of all the big cities in America, uh, we are the home that is least held behind by the past. Today, we are taking another major step forward, fostering growth, funding growth, facilitating growth, and Houston Exponential is the new hothouse for that, for that push. It's a combination of a power trio, uh, my, mayor's, my mayor's innovation and technology task force, the Houston Technology Center organization, and the Innovation Roundtable founded by the Greater Houston Partnership. During my State of the City address earlier this year, I talked about how Houston was exploring the vast opportunities that are ripe for economic growth. Houston Exponential is a direct result of that effort. The world calls Houston a knowledge capital because of the incredible concentration of ideas and innovation in our great city. Technology, innovation, and a vibrant startup community are key drivers to Houston's present as well as our future. And through this collaboration, we will create new, high-paying jobs, grow our startup and technology community, make assessing entrepreneurship capital available to all of our citizens, improve our quality of life, and lead this culture of innovation that inspires each and every one of us. Innovation is Houston's bedrock. The city would have never thrived without the innovations it took to build the Ship Channel and the innovating that goes on every day in the energy in industry, at the Texas Medical Center, at the Johnson Space Center, and in the manufacturing sector. Now Houston is poised to take its place at the forefront of the America of future in technology. This is an exciting time for the city of Houston. So much has happened in 2017, and this adds uh, another jewel uh, to what we are doing in this city. It's another indication that for the city of Houston, the best has yet to come. We intend to be a major competitive player on the global scene. I think this will help to put us, uh, position us quite well. So thank you. Well, good morning. Um, I'm Barbara Berger. I'm a member of the Houston Technology Center's Executive Committee, and I'm the president of the Technology Ventures Company at Chevron. So on behalf of the entire Houston Technology Center Board of Directors, many of them are standing right behind me on the left, who voted unanimously on Octo October 10th for combining into this new entity, I want to express how excited we are to be a part of moving Houston's innovation ecosystem forward. As you've heard, HTC has played a long-standing role in developing the startup and entrepreneurial ecosystem in Houston, and we're proud of that work. We also know that technology and innovation move much faster than any organization possibly can. So with this new vision through Houston Exponential and its focus on high growth, high impact startups and ensuring collaboration, across the many players within the ecosystem, I believe will dramatically accelerate uh, <clears throat> our efforts with the aim to be a top 10 startup market within five years. This will be great for so many in Houston, <laughs> certainly for the startup companies, their employees and investors, but also for the corporations, which is the part of the economy that I represent. We need innovati innovative technology solutions to address our business needs now and in the future. From our standpoint, more is better. And having that innovation local allows collaboration and iteration, key ingredients for successful innovation. In addition, 
An innovative economy will help all players in the economy, including the corporate sector, become more innovative. I've seen the influence that a strong innovation economy has on the corporations in that market. It happened in Northern California, where I spent most of my career, and I know it can happen in Houston. So again, the HTC board is excited about this next step in Houston's journey, and we look forward to helping drive this new organization and new strategy forward. And now let me invite up J.R. Real from Station Houston. Thank you, Barbara. A vision to transform Houston into a leading tech innovation and entrepreneurship hub. That great vision is what the mayor casted for us for our Innovation and Technology Task Force. It's the vision that guided the work we did with the GHP Innovation Roundtable. And it's the vision in charge as to why we started Station Houston. As I think about what today means, the ability to convene our community, the ability to bring forward a venture fund to not only bring those external innovation bridges to our corporations, but also to bring venture capital to Houston. Today is a day for the entrepreneur. Today is a day for Houston. So I'm really excited about what the work of all of these leaders have put forward so now we can continue to serve our community, to bring our community together and take Houston forward to realize these goals and to realize these visions. So with that, thank you, Mayor Turner. Thank you, Council Member Amanda Edwards for asking me to lead this charge for, on your behalf. And with every day, it's about the entrepreneur. We started Station Houston a year and a half ago, and when questions came after our town hall, I looked out into the crowd and I saw one of my friends and fellow entrepreneurs, Devin Baptiste. And I said, Devin, why don't you answer this question and speak as an entrepreneur as to what we're doing as a community? So like all things, it's my pleasure to introduce an entrepreneur here in Houston who's building Houston and realizing this vision for what we all set out to achieve, co-founder and CEO of Group Ray's The Most Delicious Way to Change the World, <laughs> Devin Baptiste of Group Ray's. Well, thank you so much for inviting me uh, to be a part of this. I think it's really humbling to get to represent the Houston startup community. Um, I think the very first thing I'd say, so I'm the CEO of Group Raise. Uh, like JR said, we like to think of Group Raise as the most delicious way to change the world. Because I'm a startup, you're going to get a pitch, because that's what this is. Um, <laughs> And so we started here in Houston. We help restaurants fill their slow times with an average of 200 um, customers, uh, between 20 and 200 customers. And um, our first client here was Jason's Deli. They gave us a pilot um, in the city of Houston with 17 locations uh, that turned into a national deal. And we've expanded from Houston into just over 300 cities with 8,000 restaurants. And Houston was really the foundation <laughs> for us to, to, to be able to have that kind of growth. Um, I've been blessed to, to, to travel the world um, and see a lot of other ecosystems. And I think no one else is doing what we're doing here. Um, and there are many really great people to look up to, and I'm excited that we're looking to examples um, that are out there. But this is the third coast, and I think we're going to do things differently, uh, and I think we're going to be different. And I think um, what JR and, and, and so many people up here are doing is providing density. And over the last kind of six years that we've run this company, I think Houston was less connected six years ago. And today, it is r extremely connected. And I think that density has allowed us to find talent. It's allowed us to find capital. It's allowed us to find opportunities that were maybe here, but we just didn't know about. And I think one of the things I'm excited about over the next decade is how that density will drive compound interest. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say that Houston, from a startup perspective, why it's a great city to have a startup is, is, is diversity. Uh, my co-founders, Kevin uh, over here and uh, Paul, uh, there's, we've like, you know, cried together, you know, cheered together, uh, been through this journey, and I think there's probably no other city where I would have met Kevin, whose family um, came here from Guatemala, started with literally nothing, built up a business, and lives the American dream, and I get to work with their son, who, who taught, who they taught everything, 
Um, and he's taught me so much. And Paul, who's a Rice grad, um, who we met on the playground when we were five, um, <clears throat> and then reconnected uh, to do this business. And I think the diversity of this city, the diversity of backgrounds, ideas, and people is an unfair advantage. No other city looks like us. Um, you know, we passed New York as the most diverse city in the country. Um, and we also passed them to go to the World Series, which I'm very excited about. Um, <clears throat> to go Astros, super pumped. Um, and so I think that there's, we, we are unique. Um, uh, so I, I, I lived in Taiwan, and so I'm gonna say, Chang Zhang Ho Long Tui Chen Long, which is essentially means the old wave overtakes, a new wave overtakes the old. And I think that's what's happening here in the city of Houston is that there's a new wave and we are so humbled to be a part of it. Thank you for creating an ecosystem and environment where we can continue to grow our team and allow our employees who would have had to go to other coasts to stay right here on the third coast. I'm really excited for this next decade. Thank you guys so much for providing an environment to innovate. Thank you. Thank you, Devin, very well said. Um, we believe that Houston Exponential will play a critical role in convening our innovation ecosystem around near and long-term strategies needed to transform Houston into a top 10 startup ecosystem in the next five years. And with the new fund of funds in place, we will address one of the most significant gaps in Houston's ecosystem, attracting venture capital to invest in high growth, high impact companies in the region. With our innovation community strategically aligned, we can aggressively pursue our vision to build Houston into a world leading hub for innovation and entrepreneurship. So I just wanna say thank you again to all of these people and again, so many others who have worked on this for many years and very intensely for the last couple of years. And um, I'm excited about the path that we're leading forward and um, we're happy to take questions. Thank you again. Just a non Houston. Yes. Why don't we talk about it afterwards? Okay. okay. <clears throat> May not be a question that I like. So. <laughs> <laughs> Giving right. answer in Taiwanese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.